What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a shoe video for you guys. I'm kind of excited to make this video. So if you've seen my last video, I told you guys that I was going to be trying to run 70 miles this week and I've gotten about 12 miles in um, and I have been running the entire, I'm running this entire week actually with these shoes. These are the Vaporfly, Nike Vaporfly 4% Fly Knits. And I've been using these to train. I've been using these to train because I don't have any other trainers and they have been really, really supportive on my feet. And I needed something that were was, would support my feet really, really well. I'm going to invest in another pair of training shoes just because I feel like these shoes are more of a racing shoe and more of a fast paced longer distance shoe i wouldn't say i would say that it would probably be a 5k shoe and up especially uh, like road runs that's what i would think it would be it definitely isn't a track shoe um i've been using these to train like i said and they've been really really great for training i just have some there's some flaws with them that I'm going to mention this in this video and this is not sponsored at all this is just completely my opinion on these shoes so I'm gonna tell you the good and the bad part about these shoes so obviously these are really really nice they look really awesome that's the probably the first thing that people look at with these shoes is like their looks and especially people that don't know um, anything about running shoes and they just want a nice pair of shoes they're really really expensive these ones are two hundred and fifty dollars they're the same as the next percent which are um above this one so i bought this one recently and i got it cheap that's why i ended up buying these ones instead of the next percent because um the next percent was pretty much the same price but i got these ones cheap so basically these shoes i do not suggest for trainers just because they're really supportive on your feet but i feel like it's just too nice of a shoe to go out and train in and tear them up on the gravel and asphalt and stuff like that i think that if you want a good pair of training shoes i would resort to hoka hokas are really really nice um training shoes they have so much support i like to look at the squishiness when you hit the ground on the back because that's usually what i struggle with is having my knees and hips hurting and that's because there's not a lot of squishiness in the shoe and um that's what i've always lacked in my shoes so i'm gonna get a pair of hokas and try those out i'll do another review on that these shoes i suggest not training in them i suggest racing in them i really really suggest racing in them because they're just such a nice pair of shoe that it, it just you go so quick and you feel so fast in them um racing in them probably 5k and up so if you're a marathon runner or if you're just a fun run 5k runner or whatever i would suggest these ones especially on the roads because that is what they're best for I've been training in them. They're not really trainer shoes. I put on a lot of miles. I put on about 50 now in these shoes, maybe a little bit more than just 50. And um, you know, my hips and my knees don't hurt really, really bad, but I also have been having a little bit of issue. And I also feel like they're not uh, super, super stable when it comes down to mile, like miles upon miles, you know, like day after day running those miles. I feel like it's not worth getting these shoes to train in. Um, they're definitely racing shoes though. I, I ran a five, um, five, I want to say, what did I run? A five, 12 mile or something like that. And these, the first thing, thing I did, I wasn't even in that good of shape. And the first thing I did with these shoes is I went out and ran a mile and see how fast I could run it in. I ran like a five, 12 mile, which was insane because usually I run that around the start of my track season and that's what um i usually my times are so that's crazy to think about that literally the first time i tried these shoes on i ran close to my um normal times during track and i also did that on a track but the bad part about these shoes is that when you're on like a hill like this when you're running on kind of a slant it's really bad because this up top is not really that stable and because it's made for breathing so it's not really that stable so i feel like after a while of running on um, slanted roads these could definitely get torn up which would suck because these are such a like expensive pair of shoe and um these types of shoes should be handled very nicely and i've just been kind of tearing them up that's why i want to get these trainers so that i'm not tearing these shoes up 
Uh, so that's a bad part about them. The good part about them is that they are very squishy and like you could put on a decent amount of miles. I'd say the most you could probably put on is probably four or five miles a day in these. I just really suggest that you don't because I feel like these are racing shoes mostly. And that's pretty much what these shoes are about. That's what they were made for, I'm pretty sure. Their stabilization, like inside the back, I always struggled with like my heel being sturdy and these have little, um, I can't, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little bumps back here as you can see there. And they help your heel stay sturdy and stable the entire time, which is really nice. Um, and there's also a lot of airflow. I would suggest these shoes definitely if you're gonna race. I've never tried the next percent, so I'm sure that those ones are probably a little bit better than these ones. I know that they're lighter, so I would invest in those if you wanted a racing shoe that was super, super quick. These are kind of a collecting shoe, I think now, because the next percent came out and they're supposedly, a, there's a lot of hype on them. So I wouldn't suggest um, buying these for full price unless you can get them cheap like I did and just get um, one of these and then I'm gonna buy the next percent eventually. Maybe even go a little bit higher if another shoe comes out. But yeah, these are definitely racing shoes. Um, I wouldn't use them as trainers. If you're wondering for a trainer, I would suggest Hoka looking into Hoka because they've had some really nice ones. They have uh, the Rhinecon. I know that one's a really hyped up one. And then there's also um, the Clifton's. You could try the Clifton's. So there's a lot of Hoka shoes for training. I would suggest those ones for um, racing though. So anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did and also subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and wanna see running videos. I will be posting a running video Friday. I'm thinking about doing a long run. I've been trying to get up to 70 miles this week and that's what I've been doing and I'll make a whole video about it um, next week on Monday and a whole weekly thing of what I did and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.